Jin Dobry Cheshnalo. Welcome guys to the ninth episode of the Pulsecast from totally new locations for both of us. Phil, how are you doing? You're, How's it going today? You're Trev, right? It's been a while since yeah, we've done this. Is I think your name I know Phil? You. <laughs> yeah. Who are you? Yeah, so we both moved. Do you want to get into that today? Sure. Uh, we'll start with mine right. since I guess it's the easier one, uh, the simpler yeah. one. Yeah, so I moved into a new house. Um, I live out in the country now. <laughs> In the mansion. <laughs> in the, in the mansion. <laughs> so um, yeah, probably I'll you know I'll make a video document this. I put a little video up on my channel showing what the outside of the house looks like. Uh, we've been we in here. We need a full vlog. We need the full yeah, tour. We've been in here. We for need only... to know where you live. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we've been in here only a month, so my wife uh, isn't ready to show the inside of the house yet. Um, yeah. yeah, I it, I could say at the very least I think. Maybe except for one or two boxes, they're all finally unpacked and put away. Nice. nice. <laughs> um, but definitely, you know, I wanted to get into, because I think uh, JT mentioned this in our last uh, podcast episode, about how different American be, America can be just simply by moving a very mm -hmm. short distance. And so where yeah. I was before, it was like right next to the ocean. Tons of people there. Um, and now, and I lived in a townhouse. And now I moved out to the country. Um, I only moved an hour west, but I moved out to the country. I have well water, which I learned all about when Ooh. the power went out and we had no water. I miss well water. <laughs> it tastes yeah, great. Yeah. Doesn't work yeah. when the power's out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. So now we're trying to get acquainted uh, with how everything works out here. And you were living in an area that was kind of uh, like it had a lot of Polish people there, right? And so what is it like now that you moved so to the West? Is that's there less <laughs> there's definitely less Polish people out here. I yeah. um probably I, the one con, right? So far. Yes, the only but, con, so I'm guessing. we've had we've had a bunch of people come out to visit from where we used mm -hmm. to live. Because you know, it's crazy right now in America. Everybody if you're not moving, you're at least thinking about moving, right? That's yeah. just how it it's is like right everyone's now. Everyone's moving. Because yeah. I guess everybody's moving out of New York City and that's got people who live close to New York City to mm -hmm. thinking about, oh, maybe I should sell my house and move somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So we've had yeah. a lot of lot of Polish people out here from our old area to come and mm -hmm. hang out. And you know, they've been here for maybe you know, twenty minutes, half an hour, and they're like, Man, we need to move out here. It's nice out. I bet. <laughs> you know? I bet. Yeah. So yeah. and, uh, Polish people are more into, uh, like, you know, freedom and uh, being able to control their own situation and not be dependent mm. on, you know, like, like when yeah. you live in a townhouse, you're, you're and you share a building with other people, you're dependent on them not being douchebags and, you know, not, and you know, not doing, annoying. doing the right thing, not burning down the house or anything like that, you know? Yeah. Um, yep. So you definitely... You know, it's it's funny as it says for American, you know, oh, more freedom or whatever. But that, it, you kind of get some of that out here, right? Yeah. Um, Dude, you're gonna start your own like Polish village out there. That's it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's funny. My so my wife was suggesting to me the other day. She was like, maybe we should. You know, she's like, we need to buy something to hang the Polish flag off the house. She's like, maybe mm -hmm. if we put the Polish flag up, then you know, some Polish people will stop by. They'll see the flag and they'll stop by. <laughs> is that what you guys want? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, she, it, there is definitely this whole. I think that's the biggest thing we miss about the old neighborhood, right? Yeah, is the Polish community and and yeah. So when you move out somewhere and you're like looking for familiarity from your old area, you're like, okay, that's uh -huh. the biggest thing. So like, okay, where are all the Polish people at? Where are they at? You know? <laughs> Have you guys um, found any? We we found a few. Most of them are. are <laughs> you guys are like hunting for them. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you laugh, <laughs> You know, um, we found a few. The, um, <laughs> so when I actually I should put that sign in the, in the video when I ordered that in one of my videos I ordered that American uh, Polish flag sign somewhere. Yeah, it's kind of like here. this, but like way cooler. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that when that guy. I, so that guy was emailing me back and forth because it was like an Etsy thing and he was... Uh, yeah, the seller. Yeah, mm -hmm. so he was, you know, he's personally telling me, okay, I'm working on it today. You know, like you're having a conversation yeah. about it. Mm -hmm. And he said, by far, that is his most popular uh, product. And, he's, and he also said that well, he... And for the right reason. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's awesome. It looks amazing. Yeah. yeah. And he said, he's like, oh, I just, I just shipped one out to the same town that you're in, uh, to another Polish couple. Right? And he Ooh. gave me like the last name of my wife. Okay, she's like Googling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> so you guys are like the Polish hunters at this point. You guys and probably have like a knack for seeing like a, a Polish flag somewhere. Like, so oh my God, you know, there there's was another one, one. There was one day we were driving to, so we're very close to her cousin. That's one of the benefits of being out here, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, and so we were driving to his house and you got to take like all back country roads. There's no like no, no more taking a highway yeah. to get anywhere, right? It's all country roads. Mm -hmm. And we passed this house and it had a huge Polish flag. Uh, sticking out of it mm -hmm. so, and then it and it had a sign that's saying that they're selling uh, grass-fed beef and we were like oh we need to go check that place out cause, you know yeah selling grass-fed beef selling uh, polish yeah. like, that's probably somebody uh we can hang out with did you go to him like not yet or? so the, the, that's okay. the other thing about uh living out here is now you got to go mm -hmm. refine those places right right when you're driving on weird country roads and the gps takes you a different route every time it's like, okay, yeah. where was that place again? It was off of which road? <laughs> we'll, we'll find it, though. Yeah. <clears throat> but the, I, the biggest thing is, though, we found, um, for my wife, anyways, we, we found a Polish church, and so we've been going to that. Oh, so okay. That gives you a little bit more familiarity. It's funny, as it sound, now that I'm sitting here saying all this stuff, it's funny how it sounds that we're sitting there, we're in America, and we're desperate, like, we're like, where are the Polish people? <laughs> but, yeah, it's like, you guys might as well move here. Right. <laughs> right. You know? But, you know, so far, yeah. definitely, I've, I've been enjoying it here. <clears throat> um, I think my blood pressure has dropped about 20 points, just, you know, <laughs> sitting outside with the nature yeah, like and that. everything like that, you know? Fresh air. And fresh air and, you know, yeah. running around in the in the big yard and everything like that. So, yeah, yeah, it's definitely been enjoyable. Totally. Yeah. But, you know, more importantly, let's get to the main topic today. Uh, speaking of That's moves, you. It's going to be all it's, you. It's, <laughs> My, I, I've been told by my wife, I've been told by JT from Vigo's dad, that I need to shut up this episode and simply let you talk. <laughs> the thing is, is that I'm not inherently a talker. The, this, That's the thing. I like, the, you know, I, I'm more of like a question person, but yeah, yeah we're going to try. But this is, this is, that was my exact thought is when they both said that to me. I'm like, if yeah. he talks, then I will. <laughs> right. And that's the thing is I'm just not a talker. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so... <laughs> you know, as uh, as shown on your video, on your channel, as shown on the video on my channel, yeah, you are no longer in America. <laughs> no, I moved to Poland. <laughs> yeah. Um, what should I get into? Should I just get into, like, flying over here or the oh. build-up? Like, I, I don't even know where to start. I mean, I, feel, I can I, talk about this over the course of the next few episodes, you know? I mean... Yeah. I mean, uh, I think... You, you, how, how long have you been there? Uh, a couple weeks, right? I think it's been a week and a half. Week and a half. Okay. Yeah. So obviously, there's more to talk about about leading up to it. Yeah. Um, so maybe we should get maybe we should get into that. So I've known that I was going to live in Poland for probably over the course of a year or two now. Okay. I mean, I made I made a video a long time ago. Where am I moving to in Poland? Do you yep. remember that? Yep. Yeah. So, like, I, I've known for a really long time now. It's just this is the right time for me to move here, essentially. So um, has it always yeah. been like, I'm definitely moving or has it always been like that? It's like, you know, like sometimes you have ideas in your head and this is something I would want to do, but then it doesn't become reality until you actually start taking a step, you know? I knew I was going to do it. Okay. Yeah. Like so, so similar to what you were saying, I remember there was that, where am I going to live in Poland? And there was the, mm -hmm. there was the Q and A with you and your girlfriend. Yeah. Where you were explaining why you haven't moved to Poland yet. That was one of the questions. I was paying off student loans. Right, right. And I didn't want to make Zwati and then have to pay off thousands of dollars of USD. Right. It just didn't make sense. And it would have taken forever to do. Right. Had I moved here and then done it that way. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. Just decided pay that off, save some money, hang out with family for the time that I had. And then move. From like, how long was the process from when you you're like, okay, let's start, let's let's start the wheels in motion, right? Um, this past winter, okay, I was in Poland, and how I got to Poland was like, it's another story, which I should probably talk about one day. But right. yeah, because uh, uh, actually, a couple people were wondering how I even got here, because you know it was all shut down and everything, mm -hmm. but. Um, so yeah, I was here this winter and I was able to like meet with different offices, visa, people, all of that stuff um, about my stay here. 
and I ended up signing up for a bunch of different meetings for this summer. So I already, you know, I already knew the specific dates for everything this past winter. So yeah, I think even like the the first time we talked, mm -hmm. you, I, I didn't like, I don't think I had seen those videos yet. And this is before we even started recording the podcast. We chatted, mm -hmm. we mentioned we chatted a few times beforehand, and you were like, "Yeah, I'm moving to Poland." I was like, "What?" <laughs> Did I say that a yeah. long time ago? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's like you know, besides my college debt that I had in student loans, you know, I had nothing going for me back mm -hmm. in the States. And yeah, I don't know. I, I, I feel much better here. I feel like my future is definitely here for sure. So yeah. What kind, what kind of things did you, obviously the, you know, you, you were working a lot, you were paying up to, um, what kind of things that, what kind of stuff did you need to prepare beforehand to, to get ready selling my car i remember that day yeah <laughs> uh it was definitely weird it, it's weird to be an american and not have a car uh -huh. it, it is a weird feeling uh selling my car just giving away a bunch of stuff to like you know charities or just selling it and it, besides that like you know not really a whole lot so do you have anything left in america like i know you you came with a certain amount of stuff you gave away a lot of stuff. Do you have anything left sitting there? Here? I have a suitcase with a box of mementos that I've kept. It's kind of like receipts and things like that from the past trips for the past four years mm -hmm. that I've kept, like, just as, I don't know, romantic thing right. with my girlfriend and I, you know. Right. I have that in a box in a luggage. That's it. That's it. Everything else has yeah. been, either been given away or in Poland. Yeah, I only took two checked bags, so it was, yeah, and one bag was about 50.5 pounds, and the other was like 48. Listen, you're so. in Poland now, you gotta talk in kilograms, I don't, this pounds thing. I'm one was about <laughs> 23 kilograms, the other was about 21, I think. That's not bad. Yeah. I think they go up to no. 32, right? No, is it 23 or you know, 32 is the limit? 23, tw it's 23. Okay. 23 kilograms converts to, I think, like 50.7 pounds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if if you're over 50 pounds by a little bit, just say, oh, I thought it was kilograms. You'll be fine. Okay, okay. Nice. Yeah. Little tip, travel tip. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, I don't really have a whole lot to talk about in regards to, like, preparing. Because, honestly, Listen I'm a last-minute person. And my wife, he doesn't have a lot to talk about. I don't have a lot to talk, yeah. <laughs> That's Phil's job. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a last minute person and I kind of just essentially just packed up the day of I was leaving. Okay. I'm like that guy. All right, right. Right, right. I packed everything the day of <laughs> and um, yeah, say goodbye to everyone over the course of the few weeks mm -hmm. before I left and that was that. You, know? you had that, uh, you also had that pretty uh, epic vacation before you came here yeah i went to montana with my brother and my dad and it was a good time definitely yeah. montana idaho we were hiking four-wheeling jet skiing wakeboarding like all of that stuff i know i was getting uh, little clips and pictures and it looks like some kind yeah. of extreme sports athlete sitting out there yeah <laughs> yeah we're definitely weird we don't really like to just go sit on the beach we're not those people we like to go like hiking for like five hours at a right. time or four-wheeling you know so yeah. But yeah, it was a good time. You definitely got me. Uh, I've never been to Montana or uh, uh, that part of the go. West. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, I need to go yeah. after seeing in your shots. You really need to go. Just that uh, that deck that you were sitting on with the mm -hmm. view of the mountains and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. The weather is actually really similar to Poland, too. I mean, it's like low humidity, cool breeze sometimes. Sometimes it can be hot, of course, but like mm -hmm. low humidity and just nice skies. So, and, and I know also the time you were... It was it was strange. I was trying to figure. I think because we were talking, we were having the podcast at that time, and I was trying to figure out where was the line about how much information you're giving the general public and how much not. Yeah. Sometimes, some, yeah. Because I know sometimes we were like, okay, we're not going to talk about like this, or mm. we're not going to talk about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But then you were like dropping hints in the Discord channel, or or you, you yeah, know, you had old, much older videos explaining, saying that you're moving and stuff like that. Yeah. I didn't want to like fully <laughs> announce it. I kind of wanted it to be a surprise. 
I also wanted the Discord to feel somewhat exclusive, <clears throat> you know. So I guess people, you know, if you want to join the Discord, early access to whatever <laughs> you want, right? <laughs> early access to what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I posted, I posted a picture of these apartments that I was just near and like just hanging out at at the time. And somehow the two people responded. They knew exactly where it was. Mm-hmm. Weirdest thing ever. It, it's but funny anyways. because I showed, I showed my, you know, you sent the, the picture to me and you're like, how do these people know exactly where I was, right? Yeah. And I showed yeah. it to my wife that your reaction. And she was like, she was shocked that you were shocked. That's how my girlfriend was. Right. She's That's like, how my girlfriend they, was. Like apparently Polish people of their cities... They know every little crevice, every little... They know it all. I, yeah. know, I, I know a lot of times when we're looking at, I don't know, like pictures of places or a map of something like that or something, my wife will always, she'll see the shot of, you know, Bialystok, and then she'll be like, okay, mm-hmm. right over here is where I live. She always knows how to yeah. get to where she lives from what, wherever point yeah. she is in Bialystok. Yeah. my So, yeah, my girlfriend had the same reaction. She was... She was like, what, what were you thinking? What, what did you think? Did you think no one was going to know or something? So, yeah. No, it is what it is, though. Yeah. So. I'm, now, I, I'm need... still a little shocked. I'm, I'm a little shocked that they, they somehow knew the exact location. I mean, it's, it's not a common thing for Americans to know every little detail of no. where they are, what, even what city right. they live in. Right. Um, you know, yeah. you could show me. I mean, I just moved, but my old city, I lived there for... Uh, eight years i'm like you could show yeah. me probably certain places of it. i'm like where is that i have no idea right right yeah so anyways when are you moving man when am i moving when are, yeah when are you moving <laughs> that's the real question <laughs> yeah um probably, you know now that no, I, just I think we've this, talked about that right yeah, yeah now i i so i will say now that i've got this house so now the mm. next milestone you know is to definitely to build a house in in poland it's that definitely something cool. I want to do. I would definitely want to build something over there, and uh, you know, like I said, rent either. I want to build it out in the village, and mm-hmm. either my mother-in-law can go hang out there when she you know she's have a garden from the city, have a garden or whatever. You know? Yeah. Or um, you know, we can rent it out. I've I've heard mm-hmm. this is actually like a business now in Poland, for like, uh, like people like Airbnb. Wars- like yeah, that kind of like oh. in, people like in Warsaw and the big cities, and they, they go out to, to get out of they the go city. to the country for the weekend or a week or something like yeah. that. You know, so if you have yeah. a place out in the villages, you can mm-hmm. definitely you know you definitely won't be short of renters looking right. for the place. So maybe yeah. I'll look into something like that. I just like to build like a simple like uh, my wife always wanted like you know over here they're called log cabins, but something similar like something built all out of wood and everything like that. You know, a nice small yeah. place. You know, like there's one put, actually. Just like a, one. just like a, you know, like a fireplace that mm-hmm. heats the whole place and stuff like that. Yeah. My girlfriend and I were walking, and uh, we saw one that was just like that, like just log cabin mm-hmm. here in Poland, which mm-hmm. is a little surprising and just different to the style here. And um, yeah, she really liked that one. But I guess it's like something, you know, to where, you know, for example, I'm used to the American style of houses, mm-hmm. so it's something I don't want. I'm not into it at all, and the houses here are like, I don't know. I love the style. They're so- I mean, they're solid. They're usually yeah. built out of concrete, especially like the older places. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. I watch even the new ones. I- I'm-, yeah. I'm watching the construction here every day, and they're all built out of those cinder blocks. Yeah, it's funny watching. Um, so I watch a uh, uh, Novi Dom over there, which is okay. the one where they take like you know people's like older houses and they redo them in mm-hmm. five days or whatever. And oh, that's on TV. That's not a, a YouTube channel, right? No, yeah, yeah, that's on TV. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, it's on Pulse app. And and okay. so, you know they have like remodeling shows here, and you know. Yeah, yeah. It's funny to compare them uh, when they're like, especially like when they're in the phase where they're taking down all the old stuff. You know, over here mm-hmm. it's just simple, like oh, they're taking down this simple thing, and you know it's very quiet work taking mm-hmm. down whatever. And over there they got the jackhammers, they got the sledgehammers because they're like you know they need to knock down rebuild. a wall. Right, yeah. it's, it's it's a lot of work, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so week and a half. Um, how's the air conditioning situation been so far? So, so you, so your your wife just came in before our podcast started. Right. She had and she asked about that question. Why did she ask? Was it because I've mentioned it before? She, Probably she, right. She, you're, you're American, so. Okay. Um. 
so the air conditioning situation is I have a fan <laughs> right there and windows are open, but uh -huh. it's actually a really pleasant day. I mean, it's, it's low 70s, no humidity. Uh -huh. There are clouds in the sky, beautiful blue skies. Like, it's a great day. Um, yes. Like, I'm not sweating at all. Uh -huh. Totally fine. And yeah, it, it's been fine. Like, I know a lot of polls will say like, oh, it's so hot and stuff like that. But then the days where they don't say anything about it, right. it's the nicest days, right? Right. I mean, in, oh. I think in general, when I'm outside, I don't really, mm -hmm. the heat doesn't really bother me there. Well, you live on the east. Oh, you're talking about here. Yeah, over there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's it's when, and again, in, in um, we were, we were joking about you when you got there, that you, you know, you live in the mansion now. Um, <laughs> So like in my parent, my in-laws live in you know apartment, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you know, like an apartment building, and in those buildings, especially if you're up a few floors, yeah. it can get it can get hot. That's when it bothers me is sitting in those yeah. places. Yeah, yeah. And my girlfriend and I were looking at a few apartments, and we were thinking about getting like something on the top floor, but mm -hmm. at the same time, we're a little bit hesitant or scared about it just because of the heat. Yeah. So it's something I want to kind of like test drive first before we start. Going it's, out it's, and renting. It's a during of the day thing. Like at night. It's, yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. That, I mean, that's it one of the things down. I love. Yeah, that's the thing I love about Poland. It cools down. Everybody's got yeah. their windows open. It's generally quiet outside, and it's. I like sleeping with the windows. We open. live right next to some uh, disco polo partiers. Oh, yeah. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> and about once a week, I wake up at two to like four in the morning, and it's just. <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah just dancing your exactly <laughs> yeah pretty much yeah. it's just like people screaming and stuff but no it's okay it's like it's a chill vibe okay. yeah i when um i when i'm at my in-laws apartment mm -hmm. there's uh there's a there's a guy that lives like below them or very near them mm -hmm. and he's got a he's got a daughter named uh, patricia and every every evening at like at a certain time, it's probably like dinner time or something like that. He's just sitting out on his balcony, Patrizia, Patrizia, for like mm. twenty minutes. <laughs> he <cracks> me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's something too. I I hope that the newer apartments kind of have like soundproofing as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know, you never know. You never know. From what I've seen, I mean, I think they're m way more solid than American places. Yeah. Um, but I think also oh, if yeah. you if you've got some kids above you, you've got kids above you. You know, you're gonna hear that. Yeah. I would There's... think think about like in hotels here, mm -hmm. like like not you know not like apart apartment complexes here. I feel like are less solid. Like yeah. in apartment in the hotels, they kind of go out of their way to try to soundproof mm -hmm. some things. You know, mm -hmm. and I think Poland yeah. buildings are more similar to that. Yeah. So pretty soon you're going to be going to Poland. Yes. How are you preparing? <laughs> are you excited? <laughs> um, and then we can get into like my flight situation too in a bit. After okay. Yeah. So I think similar to, I think I asked you this question before you moved. We talked to JT. He's in Dominican Republic right now. We asked him this yeah. question and I think it's very similar. I'm so worried about all the details and worried about this, yeah. worried about that, that I'm too busy to be excited <laughs> yet. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm I'm jealous right now because I keep getting pictures from you. I keep getting pictures from JT, uh, you know, Dominican Republic and Poland. And I'm like, yeah, that old town that he sent us looks pretty cool. Yeah. And I'm like, these guys, man, I need to get somewhere so I can send them pictures. Right. And what's going yeah. on. Yeah. But especially given the times we currently live in there's it's not as simple to fly as it no. usually is and so i'm no. sitting here and i'm checking into countries um and what requirements i have for their their places you know it, yeah. it's just more like it's a pain i mean in gen like i mean the first few times i flew to poland you have this worry that like Listen, the, the border control, they are the final say of what, whether you can enter the country or not, right? You can fly all the way over there, and technically they could say no, and you have to go back, right? And so, it, so in, you know, I got, I, I got over it, but the first few times I had that worry, you know, when I was flying to Poland. And now it's just like, 
you don't want to be because you forgot some piece of paper or you forgot to do something to be the reason why they give you a hard time yeah. or whatever, right? And so it's just making yeah. sure you're crossing all the T's and dotting all the I's. Yeah. My, my daughter's already packed her bag. It's been sitting next to my desk for like the past week saying, what, when are we, what day are we leaving? What day are we leaving? You know, she's excited. It, she's probably the most excited. Really? Out of everybody right now. My yeah. wife... She's excited to go back, but she's also she's also nervous. Yeah, right? nervous about like the entire the, the situation of getting there and paperwork um, and, and documents. More, or? I think she's more she, she has more general no, nervous about. Okay, I need to here. I she doesn't want to insult anybody by not uh, making time for them, right? So oh okay, I need, I need yeah, I got you. Contact yeah. these people and let them know I'm there. Contact these people. Set up this yeah. thing. Set up that. You know, it's all yeah that kind of stuff yeah so okay. you know you don't want to you don't want to find out you got back to america and somebody's all pissed off that you didn't totally. go to their house you know right um, yeah but so, I admit it should be good so before i i moved here it was pretty much i i had the same exact situation as you i was so i guess nervous but also just well actually i wasn't nervous i was more just busy i was too busy mm-hmm. to even be nervous about the entire thing i had to do so i flew in through Lisbon, Portugal, mm-hmm. before Warsaw. Uh, flew from DC, and I had to fill out a passenger locator form for Portugal, and then of course, passenger locator form for Warsaw. And then of course, you have to have your, I had to have a COVID test to enter Portugal. Okay. But I didn't have to have the COVID test to enter Poland, it was just the vaccination card. Right. So. And the interesting thing too about Portugal is they didn't even look at my uh, my vaccination card at all. Like when I when I handed them the paper of my COVID test, huh. I also had like my vaccination card. They didn't even look at it at all. Okay. So it's just a whole weird situation. You have to make sure the passenger locator form is filled out, mm-hmm. or there could be an issue. And then you know there's just all this paperwork. I had to carry a folder with me with just all of my documents and yeah like i had no time to even be i had no time to even think about me landing here or anything like that because i was so busy just days like really the week before just figuring all that stuff out um how was the flight in general like compared to like a normal flight over there i'm a fan of tap airlines now Mm -hmm. they are they're great they're definitely great uh, Air France and Tap Airlines are okay. my favorite. Nice. Yep. Uh, good food. Very good wine. I had about <laughs> three three of those bottles, kind of uh-huh. like mini yeah. bottles of Portuguese wine. Very good. Um, that's it. I mean, the seating situation was great. I didn't sit next to anyone. There was, you know, I had my own row. I always do for some reason. I always have a, mm-hmm. my entire row. Like even if the plane is completely filled, Mm-hmm. I will just have one row all to myself. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, um, Portugal, I was out on the tarmac, and the weather there is beautiful, palm trees. And Lisbon is it's really cool to fly into because it's kind of like a port city. Okay. So you just see like the you know canals or bays and mm-hmm. all that stuff. And you're then, kind of, is it on the, I don't know. No, you know where Lisbon is. Is it on the ocean side? So, like, you're coming yeah. over the ocean and then landing? Yeah. And it was really cool just to see, like, from the Atlantic to then just see the land and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But anyways, um, yeah, so that was really cool. Uh, nice airport. Very friendly people, actually. I would say that Portuguese, my new theory are, is that the Portuguese are, like, the Canadians of Europe. <laughs> okay. Very friendly. Like, they... They're very friendly, very helpful, very kind people. I, I really like them. Nice. Um, so I definitely want to go to Portugal one day. Just like hang out, you know. I guess it's a little stuff. bit easier for you now. Now you're hopping on trains and uh, you can go around Europe. Now. I don't know if I would take a train though because it's it would be a little while. <laughs> It'd be a long train. <laughs> That's like the American comment, isn't it? Oh, you just yeah. take a train and you're there. Backpacking across <laughs> Europe, right? Yeah, backpacking and just take the train. You're fine, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, and then eventually I found my gate. Uh, mm-hmm. Of course, your ears will lock onto the Polish sounds. And Were there many Poles there? 
in line and stuff. Yeah, the the plane was full. Okay. Yeah, from Portugal to uh, Poland, it was it was filled. So, nice. but yeah, uh, it was it was smooth sailing, and it was only smooth sailing because I had all the paperwork down to a T, you know. But um, yeah. And then other than that, like so far, my time here has been great. I've had barbecue. I've been blessed with my parents in-laws oh man uh grilling this is this is probably the thing i'm most excited about in fall oh, yeah. this is my favorite part mm-hmm. about going to fall in the summer Tom, yeah. give me more give me some more details about that we had some pork what's the name for it uh karkufka karkufka i believe karkufka okay yeah. yeah we had that we had kielbasa we had baked potatoes mm-hmm. we had a refreshing salad as well and you know, I guess the meat, it, it has like that, what is it, primat, primat mm-hmm, mm-hmm, seasonings mm-hmm. on it yeah, and stuff. Yeah. And it's just so good. And like they have like this really cool outside deck situation. They have flowers. And dude, I swear it's like heaven here, man. It's like heaven <laughs> for me. I got seriously. It's it's really nice. So. Actually, I'm what going, going forward, I'm going to be very interested because you and I talk a lot about Poland and how much we like mm-hmm. it. And people have told us in comments and people have told me, you know, offline also they're like, yeah, the reason why you guys love it so much is because you're not there. You're, we're there for yeah. vacation. If we're you there were for there, parties. you would truly understand. Right. We don't like. face the problems of a typical, right. the typical poll faces on a, yeah. any given day. So I'm going to be interested right. to see as you stay there, how yeah. your feelings stay the same. I think or I'm going to hate this it. place. All right. <laughs> I'm going to hate this place. I want you to clip this of me saying I hate Poland. All right. <laughs> but uh, actually, that's one of the things that like the things that bother you that I would just never see simply even, you know, even I go more local than a typical tourist. Mm-hmm. Right. But there's things that even I wouldn't have to deal with. And so I'm, you will have to deal with these kind of things. So I'm going to be interested in hearing well, what's the, going forward. Like, do you want like basic things or do you want like big things i mean event, like what eventually, are you for right, eventually you're gonna have to deal with like government things you're gonna have to deal with like yeah you know getting your driver's license we'll say for example yeah. right these, these kind of yeah. things that uh no matter how many times i go there i would never have to deal with unless i actually mm-hmm. move there right right now i have an international driver's license for just like my standard like driving cars mm-hmm. and even motorcycle mm-hmm. and that that lasts for a year okay yeah so i'm Right now, I'm fine on that. But yeah, like the rest of that government paperwork, yes, totally. Have you driven yet? Have you been there? Yeah. Um, okay. Not since I've been here this day, but I've, okay. I've driven briefly exactly. before. Okay. Yeah. I've and never... probably will be more so in the future, for sure. I've, I've never driven there. That's uh, it, it looks like, I mean, you know, driving around town, it doesn't, it, whatever, it seems fine. But I know, like, I'm, like... Behind, like the highway between when it was the old style highway we've covered this many yeah. times right that only yeah, had yeah. lesser lanes yeah, and yeah. Uh, trucks even 18 wheeler trucks are pulling under the shoulder so cars can go around them and everything like yeah. that like they it's treat it like it's a four lane highway it's yeah, yeah it's a little crazy <laughs> yeah that stuff uh not too excited about to be honest but um i i can actually tell you something that that has bothered me since i've been here so the one thing that does bother me a little bit Just a little bit. I know people are going to say, wow, this is really stupid. Why are you talking about this? But when I'm walking on the sidewalk and a bicyclist will come up behind me, I won't even know. I won't even hear them. And they won't even say, like, excuse me, like, shiprasham or anything like that. Instead, they just, like, zoom right by me. Or they will do, like, they'll just, like, go around me into the grass completely and like almost fall off like this one girl went around myself and my girlfriend who were walking we didn't even hear the person uh-huh. and she went the bicyclist went off like right in the grass like almost fell off like a simple like shiprasham and like okay. we would have just moved over if we would have right. heard and this isn't like something of just one person too it's like every time there's a bicyclist that passes us they don't say anything and I'm, no, I'm just poles, like, poles don't, talk, say, poles don't talk to each other out in the street. Strangers don't I know, talk but to it's each like, other. come on, just shaprasham, please, uvaga, <laughs> please, please, I'm begging. So that's something. That's that's the that's the first complaint. Okay. Okay. That's the first of, so of are you, many. If you if you ride a bike, are you gonna be uh, saying shaprasham? No, I'm not gonna bike? say anything. Uh, no. You gotta fit in with the locals, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when in Rome, right? There's right. a Roman still. Yeah. 
That's so also why I'm wearing my 4F. Nice. I have to represent. See, that was one of the times... I saw recently, you know, I just put up this video in my little tribute to Trev. Um, yeah, I saw that. And, and so I had, to, I had to go and re-listen to all our uh, old episodes, our podcast yeah. episodes to find all that material. <laughs> Um, I think by the end of it, I was sick of listening to the two of I us bet. talk. I bet. Yeah, you probably unsubscribed, <laughs> right? <laughs> but I was I was noticing how many times we almost let it slip that you were going to Poland. Oh, did we? There was like we probably had some hints, right? Some clues right. or hints and, so, and stuff. So the episode with JT, the last episode, we were yeah. talking about clothing, and you had mentioned that you had never bought any Polish clothing. Yeah, uh, bought any clothing in Poland. And all of a sudden, I, I, I was which, like... Which actually is a lie, the more that I think about it. But, <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, and, and my response to that was, I was like, well, now you're going to have to. Right? And then... Right. And I think oh, I did you? My, uh, I caught myself, and I like didn't say anything more after that. <laughs> I'm like, I hope nobody picks up on it. <laughs> I didn't but, even realize that. <laughs> but there was a couple moments like that where, like, if you go yeah. back and watch them now, for, if a yeah. person goes back and watches those episodes now, knowing that you're in Poland, you'll definitely see yeah. that we've indirectly hinted to it yeah. as, we, as yeah. we were going. And I've bought a couple of jerseys here that mm-hmm. are from Poland. and But besides that, I guess in this, like nothing else really. 4F. So the uh, so. the soccer season has started. You, you got tickets for a match yet? Not yet. Uh, okay. Did it actually, when did it just start? It's like, like what? last weekend or the weekend before. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to work something out. And I know someone who plays like in a local league, and I want mm-hmm. to go to his game. Okay. And just see it, say like that, maybe start like on his league, and then eventually, right. you know, there's nothing in Lublin with, in, like in regards to their league, you okay. know. It's actually we fashion. don't have, yeah. So I kind of wish we did. I'm sure most people wish that we didn't, That's, you know, <laughs> just because then there wasn't, there wouldn't be like any like hooligans and all yeah you know problems but yeah um i would definitely like to go for okay. sure so i was going to give you i was going to give you a tip that, re, that uh, related sure. to to clothing mm-hmm. and in soccer but since you don't have an uh, extra uh, clash of team in town i don't know if it applies but so to get into a match you need to have a, a fan card a carta kibitza right oh so, okay so i have me so I have one for Jagiellonia, right? Do you really? Yeah, and I had to... Does it last forever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to, like, give my passport to prove who I am to, to get it. Like, every, you know, the locals give, like, their driver's yeah. license, their ID, their national yeah. card or whatever, right? Uh, I had to use my passport because I'm uh, international. And so they checked wow. that, verified it's me, and now I have this card. And in order to get into a match... I need to have that, you know. They want the they want the IDs of everybody who's there because of like you know people causing trouble at matches and everything like. Really? That. Oh, yeah. okay. So, okay. so I have one of those, and as a as a benefit of that, in a lot of the clothing stores in Bialystok, they have if you have a, you know, like a, if it's the store is like a sponsor of the team or whatever. Do they give you a percentage. They off? give you a discount if you have your That's card, cool. Kibitza card. How much did it cost? The card, nothing. It didn't cost me. Anything. Or maybe oh, really? it's like a simple, like a processing thing or something like that. Yeah. To have the card. It wasn't expensive. Okay. I just went down to the, so in Bialystok, there's a couple of like fan shops. They're like a, the official uh, fan shops. And I yeah. went down there and they made it for me. Okay. That's pretty cool. And I didn't, yeah, I had no clue about that. But Yeah, we didn't know about it until like a couple of trips ago. We, we went to a match. Now, can anyone enter? Like, even without that? Or do you have to have that? No, so what I've been told, you have to. Like, each ticket okay. is assigned to a person. Uh-huh. You know, it's like like plane tickets, right? It's assigned mm-hmm. to a person. You need to have your card to pizza to prove that's you okay. to, uh, to get into the match. So far, I have yet to meet someone who's into... Are we going to say soccer or are we going to say football? <laughs> You're in Poland now. you got to say Pukonoszna. Okay. <laughs> Pilka Noshna. Yeah, I've I've yet to meet anyone that's into Pilka Noshna. Okay. Um, but if you if you want to, if anyone wants to show me around, mm-hmm. take me to a game, we'll go hang out. A match. Let me know a in the match, comments. Trev, a match. 
a match. The match. Yeah. I'm, I'm offended that you don't speak Polish and you're moving to this country. That's this, is a, <laughs> this is horrible. You're way, too, you Amer- you're way too American for Poland. Yeah, you make me sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we're talking about this uh, comment that I received recently. I think uh, you found it to be quite funny, I'm pretty sure. More, more uh, so than I did, probably. Yeah. But yeah, it was like someone that said, what did, what did it translate to? Something like they, they're there was upset. Two that, there was two comments. Yeah, he commented yeah. twice, and one of them was upset. Oh, was that, that the same person? Yeah, yeah. he was. But they're two up- separate ones, right? It wasn't yeah, he wrote twice. Thread. He wrote twice. Oh, okay. One I thought it was one, another person. No, one of them. He was upset that you know you're moving to Poland with, uh, and it was a combination of he was you know that you were speaking on behalf of the Polish people without even knowing Polish. That was the that was the other one. Oh, okay. <laughs> It is what it is, like so, yeah, whatever. Whatever. I was like, I I thought it was funny because I'm like, like just the simple fact that people um, need that kind of attention, I guess. Like yeah, you know, or so like poor. they just go out of their way, right? To, the, to yeah, write like a negative. Like even if I watch something that I don't like on YouTube, it's not worth my effort to yeah go and type something, you know? Yeah, I, I'm just like whatever. No. It just, it's easier just to click than to sit there. Right. And, voice my discontent yeah. but it's weird but that's just how it is it's always yeah. going to be like that too so yeah. it is what it is um, um but speaking of knowing polish i've been studying a lot i was gonna Not say a lie yeah i am i've been studying a lot and we're and i've been documenting it so okay I, i'll be most yeah. interested in your polish level uh say we're going hard now yeah. we're going hard right now right. very hard like I don't want to give away my exact routine right now, but it's definitely it's the craziest I've it's I've ever been. So you're saying there might be the potential of an episode in Polish in the future? Oh, totally. Yeah. Oh, it's common. Yeah. yeah. It's that's, common. That's actually good for me because um, I'm a very competitive person. And yeah. If I'm the only one doing something, I don't really have the same motivation. If there's right, then you don't somebody doing it with me, you know, and then yeah. I'm like, so if I see you all of a sudden blurting out a bunch, I'm like, Damn, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're gonna have to start going pretty hard man right now honestly i i want to get i just want to get up to like your level honestly yeah. that's that's definitely my goal is to get up to very good like conversational level totally mm-hmm. yeah Vodka um helps. it does actually i had some last night yeah. and um yesterday i was actually only speaking polish um only talking speaking polish with everyone here and definitely flowed. What a what lot I better. find is Shabrufka i Pomeranchove. Okay, oh, that's what you're drinking. I was gonna actually I was gonna ask you what you were drinking over there. Um Yeah, I haven't I've had one beer, Varta. Mm-hmm. Um but right now I'm just not I'm not I'm not feeling beer this second. I'm feeling vodka. I'm feeling vodka and like, you know, mixed mixed drinks with vodka right now. Yeah. Um so what I find when I'm drinking something, I don't think it like also it makes me remember Polish any better or anything like that. But what I what I find is one of the tricks in learning a language is you have to be good at when you don't know a word, explain saying what you want to say in another way. Right. Right. right? And I think that's where the drink the loosening of the brain, the relaxing of the brain, mm-hmm. it helps with, with that. And it's like, well, yeah. I, like you're sitting there going, Well, I don't know exactly what to say and and when you're sober, all of a sudden you get nervous that you don't know exactly what you want to say, and you're like, Ugh, "I'm just not yeah. going to say anything." And right. when you're when you've had some drinks, you're you just you just want to be sociable. You want to talk, bit. and you're like, yeah. "Whatever, I'll figure out a way to say it, even if it's bad Polish. Yeah. I'll blurt out what I need to say, and mm-hmm. you, you you end up becoming you know you're still understandable, and you that's how I am becoming more fluent because of that. Yeah, I guess everyone's really like that too, <laughs> you know. But yeah. Um, couple of shots of vodka i'm good to go mm-hmm. so you you sat down with the uh with the father-in-law of course your father-in-law and uh, had some of course drink. yeah yeah nice. i think on the uh first night actually yeah first night of arrival so how, how is and I'm your not, i'm not used to alcohol right now so i had one beer and i was like i was buzzed yeah <laughs> i'm a lightweight to be honest so which how... which i actually enjoy i'm not gonna lie i enjoy that yeah i mean i mean to be honest with you for me, I'm like, you know, when I'm talking about here, sitting in my new house, I like 
we have a view of the sunset every night. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, one beer and sit on the deck and watch the sunset. Um, that's a pretty good evening right there. Yeah. After yeah. after have, having a grilled something, you know. Yeah. <laughs> just kind of in just your kinda, mansion. <laughs> yeah, just kind of <laughs> chilling out. Right. I'm in my American mansion. You're in your Polish yeah. mansion. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know. How's the, how how has the um, your arrival been been treated by the uh, by your oh, girlfriend's it's, family it's, and everything like that? It's always good. I mean, they always have you know food ready for me or you know some type of meal. I actually don't. I don't know the name of the meal that uh, my mother in law had prepared, but it was chicken with like this type of carrot pulp juice with different things like that and Mm -hmm. cheese and like a couple of other things mushrooms um i haven't seen the dish really anywhere else it might just be her thing or maybe just to this region i'm not really sure but very good Mm -hmm. definitely great oh and cake after uh no name cake too because it was homemade cheesecake type of thing that's extremely interesting Mm mm-hmm Nothing like, you know, you and I are, have ever been used to, right. you know, so. Do great. they, um, do they, have they watched any of our episodes? Do they know all the things you haven't eaten yet? No. Um, okay. I don't know. Remember, you need to try Gawamki, and you weren't positive yeah. if you've eaten Charlotte's yet or not. No, wait, Gawamki is the, isn't it like a ball, like a potato ball? That's the, thing? no, that's the, again, I think we had this conversation. That's the the meat the meat with the rice the pork with the rice and it's wrapped in cabbage. Yes. Okay. I need to try that. Mm-hmm. Actually, I'm going somewhere extremely special. Okay. That I mentioned earlier to you, and there I'll be able to try a lot of different like original mm-hmm. Polish foods from like just classic Polish yeah, foods. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe I should do that then. Yeah. Actually, that's a good idea. Okay. I'll write those down. Yeah, yeah. Gawamki, you need to get on that, man. Yeah, I'm a son. Um, why, why am I here? I, I'm not allowed in. I don't know I'm how you're even in Poland. Poland. You yeah. haven't even eaten, you know. You're probably sitting there yeah. eating cheeseburgers and pizza and everything like that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just oh, Pop-Tarts. <laughs> so as I'm thinking back to more of our previous episodes, um, have you found uh, tortilla chips yet? Yes. Okay. Yes, I have. Uh, they're in Oshan. Uh-huh. Oshan, Oshan, and uh, yeah, it's a good brand. They're not too expensive. I think they're about two bucks, and of course they're like you know the smaller size, right? right. Mm-hmm. But yeah, they're good. They do the job. Okay. You know what's interesting too is I was like my girlfriend made sandwiches for me, right? Kanapki, and mm-hmm. um, that's the plural, right? Kanapki, yep. Yep. and. As I was eating the sandwiches, I'm like, man, these are so good. I think I sent you a picture of them. Mm-hmm. And at the time, I wanted chips. And she she still thinks it's kind of weird. And she's like, man, if, if my mother saw this, like, it'd be just so weird to see. You know, because they think of chips as something you eat separately, just as its own private yeah. snack, not something you combine with, like, for example, a sandwich. But for right. us Americans, you know, we grew up eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with a little bag of chips or something like that, exactly. you know. It, I think it stems from school lunches, right? And your yeah. mother packs enough mm-hmm. stuff in there for you to survive the entire. Because you right. know you're only eating once while you're at school. God forbid, you know. You, yeah. You, you might starve to death, you know, in those <laughs> eight hours that you're not eating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. And then like I just always grown up with chips. My my dad mm-hmm. was always a tortilla chip person and he just he passed that on to me. So I just I have to have some type of crunch every we day. We have something I don't know why. similar here. So one of the as I mentioned earlier, you have a little bit more freedoms when you're out in mm-hmm. the country. So one of the things we that I couldn't have back at my old place because we lived in a townhouse, there's all kinds of people mm-hmm. around. We couldn't have a gas grill. Or any kind of oh, yeah. grill, right? right. Out, out right. here we have a grill, and that's like the first thing I bought when I moved in. Yeah. And I will wait. Also so on say, your deck, you couldn't on my have deck. A, I have a grill, but before in the townhouse you couldn't. I, I wasn't allowed to have one on the property. No. Wow. Yeah, that's interesting. So, um, 
to, as a result, I don't remember the last time my wife has cooked a meal out here because she just hands me a bunch of meat and says, go cook it. And then it. you just put it on, yeah. <laughs> put it on the yeah. grill. But yeah. similar to what you're saying is, like, we had hamburgers, let's say, the mm-hmm. other night. And I asked her, I'm like, okay, what are we having with this? And she's just like, what do you mean? You know, you just eat a hamburger or, you know. <laughs> Like, like I, it's like the sandwich, you know, I guess a hamburger is typically like a sandwich, right? It's like that yeah. sandwich mentality from Poland, yeah. you know, you don't have anything with it. Right. It's know, just the like most plain. You, the most you have it with it is a, a, some gorky, you know, on the yeah. side. Yeah. <laughs> that's about right. it. Right. Exactly. Right. And, and I'm like, you know, American mentality, I'm like, where are the chips? Where are the, yeah. you know, something with it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Do you take I found sand- my brand. sandwiches with you everywhere you go? That's a question. Do I now? Yeah. How do you take Polish sandwiches everywhere you go? I mean... Because there's only, you know, there isn't the top piece of bread, right? Oh, so, like, for example, anytime I'm going on a train in Poland, my mother-in-law will make me two or three, you know, they look like normal sandwiches. They're normal ones, right? Yeah, Yeah, okay. My, um, My girlfriend did... My girlfriend's mom did pack uh, some of those on our previous train trips. Yes. How uh, how many did she pack for you? Uh, I think it was too many, and <laughs> it was. I think they were like, I don't know what. I think it was like a meat and like butter. Yep. I think it was like <laughs> like buttery meat yep. stuff. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about butter on sandwiches with the rest of your? So. I had to, yeah. This was this was a bit of a, a situation because, you know, they're they're really into butter here, and I'm not uh-huh. as into butter as they are. It's definitely great to cook with, and it adds flavor to a lot of things. But, um, yeah. At at, at first, I had to tell her to kind of like lean off with the butter a bit because I think she used to put like so much, like nearly like half a tablespoon on each slice of bread. But um, she only puts like a little bit on now, and it's okay. it's it's good. But uh, at first, it it was a little bit, you know, a lot. Yep. Where it was, it was like too much butter. Like I didn't really taste the bread. Right. It was like just butter. This is like my my sandwich. wife and I. She's always trying to butter my sandwiches, and I'm like, I prefer mustard on my yeah. sandwiches. And I'm like, right. stop, stop putting butter on it. Put mustard on it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I kind of like, like you know butter when we're addiction. Pulling, yeah, when we're in Poland, I just kind of like go with the flow and however make the sandwich, that's fine. But, you know, when I'm sitting right. here and she's making me sandwiches, I'm like, there's plenty of mustard in the fridge. <laughs> Put right. some mustard on that thing. Right. Yeah. So, I don't know. It, it's okay. But I'm, I'm getting used to it. For sure. Um, what are you most looking forward to doing uh, relatively soon while you're in Poland? Well, tomorrow I'm going to Opole. Mm-hmm. And so there's like this this old castle there. I don't know if you've heard of it, but yeah, there's like this. It looks like a fairy tale. From what I've been told, I don't know if this is true. There's going to be some rumors, but mm-hmm. um, I've been told that it was the exact, it was the castle that inspired the inspiration for, you know, like, for example, with Disney, when it's like the first start, mm-hmm. and it's like that castle, and the castle know, logo, and yeah, logo yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Apparently, this is inspired this castle inspired that oh interesting i hadn't heard that so yeah nice. yeah i'm excited for that um excited to meet you in person yeah, yeah we're yeah. just gonna come right out and say it huh we're gonna let the spoil down the podcast right well you are co- okay so i mean we did know the last podcast that you were coming right right so yeah might as well meet up and yeah. that should be pretty cool and we might be trying out uh an interesting Polish dish that yep. we may not like and we probably tried to avoid before. Again, if you watch a previous episode, you'll know exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be interesting, and I'm yeah. still scared about that, and I hope that my international health insurance is fully active. <laughs> or else yeah, I'm so be that should be neat. Yeah. It's like a, yeah, I cut, cut out of the bag a little bit, so I, we plan on meeting in Warsaw. Yeah. Um, for a couple, or I'll be there for a couple of days. I, mm-hmm. We'll see. Uh, I, I actually, yeah. you know, I have some. You know, I'm going to try to film a little bit while I'm there, make some stuff content for my yeah. film, and I've. Um, I'm trying to meet up with a couple of people that I know in Warsaw. So same. That should yeah, be interesting. Same with me. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. going to be interesting. Like I've, 
as I've mentioned, I have one our episode what cities we've been to. I've really only spent one day in Warsaw to this point. Really? Um, other than, you know, being at the airport one yeah. full day. So I when I mentioned to my wife, you know, we we're in this thing now. Ever since we went to Krakow last uh, visit, we're in this thing now. Okay, we'll spend most of our time in the always stock visiting family, but we'll take a couple of days and we'll go to some other city. Yeah, and explore check some it place. Out, yeah. You know. Uh, so I, when I brought up to her, I'm like, Hey, we should, let's do Warsaw because I'm mm-hmm. like, it's in between Trev and I, and, and uh, yeah. I know, you know, these other people that I know they live in Warsaw, maybe I can meet up with them. Yeah. Um, and she was like, okay, yeah, it's a good idea because there's things that she would like to take our daughter to go see mm-hmm. like the, um, the Seninka and like mm-hmm. the museums and stuff. Like yeah. That, so it should be yeah. It seems like if you want to meet up with anyone, it's probably the safest bet is Warsaw. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah, the people that I'm going to be meeting uh, live in Warsaw, except mm-hmm. one person, and yeah, it's like everyone pretty much lives there. So it's it's one it's a good place definitely for networking and all of that stuff too. But I just I still don't think I would I would live there. I just no. really as of right now, I just I, I'm not really feeling it to live. You know? Like I just maybe it's my age, or I think it's it's more how I grew up. Uh, yeah the kind of town i grew up in in my age now and i'm just kind of like yeah you know i proved it with this move i'm just kind of like mm-hmm. i'm more into slowing down you know i'm getting old time mm-hmm. goes faster <laughs> let's yeah. let's slow it all down let's chill out right yeah. and uh, let's just en- enjoy i've spent you know i've already been working for 22 23 years or something like that. Yeah. just from when i graduated college doesn't include when i worked when i was a teenager right. you know and it's like okay, let's let's enjoy some of this success a little bit, you know, and yeah, uh, yeah, and not not let life uh, rush by so quickly. <laughs> yeah, and even you know, even just things like you know, fresh air and just yeah, like getting outside, being near the woods or somewhere that's you know easy access to just mm-hmm. relax and stuff. Yeah, you can find little pockets of that in Warsaw, but it's like, I just. I'm not into like big capital cities and just all that right. stuff. You know, it's just, it's not my, my cup of tea. Well, Trev, this all sounds extremely excited. Obviously this is not going to be the only time we talk about this. This is probably going to be a running theme. This is uh, just the beginning really. This or, is what the podcast know. is now. You know, all the yeah. other episodes were a wrap yeah. up to this. Like, exactly. like I said on your video, you now are the more uh, interesting person on this no. podcast. Oh, no. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> No, but, um, you know, like I said uh, on my other video, you know, I'm happy for you. I'm a little bit jealous. Um, Thanks. You know, I wish you all the best. And uh, I can't wait to to have our, you know, have our conversations about this now, about what you're experiencing and everything like that. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. That's for sure. So thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. All right, guys, that's it for this podcast. If you have anyone that you want to come on to our podcast as a guest, just like, you know, how JT was on then let us know in the comment section down below as a request or message us on the Discord channel. Either or, it's a good option and we'll try to possibly have them on. So, Phil, is there anything you wanna say? Is that it? No, I'm ready to go back to bed now because it's extremely early (laughs) here, uh, our time difference. So, uh, enjoy your day and uh, we'll be talking soon. All right, see you guys later.